happy morning children how are you all hope you all are doing good and safe at home yes are you all happy yes dears shall we start today's session in last class we study about geography second lesson interior of the earth okay and it is a first lesson interior of the earth and it consists of three layers the crust the mantle and the core today we are going to see the book bag exercise of the of this interior of the earth lesson okay dears shall we start take your book take page number 152 take page number 152 first one choose the correct answer first one choose the correct answer first one knife is made up of knife n i means nickel f e means ferrous so knife is made up of nickel and ferrous okay first two letter you may remember like this n i f e okay knife is made up of nickel and ferrous second one earthquake and volcanic eruption occur near the edges of option a mountain b plains c plates d plateaus the answer is c plates earthquake and volcanic eruption occur near the edges of plates third one the magnitude of an earthquake is measured by richter scale magnitude of an earthquake okay the magnitude is measured by richter scale or i c h t e r richter scale s c a l e scale richter scale fourth one the narrow pipe through which magma flow out is called option a vent b crater c focus d caldera the answer is option a vent v e n t the narrow pipe through which magma flow out is called vent v e n t vent next one fifth one dash volcano is known as lighthouse of mediterranean sea the answer is option a stromboli option b krakatoa c fujiyama d kilimanjaro which one is a lighthouse of mediterranean sea stromboli stromboli is an volcano is known as lighthouse of mediterranean sea stromboli s t r o m b o l i stromboli sixth one dash belt is known as ring of fire last class we see this which one is called as ring of fire option a circum pacific b mid atlantic c mid continental d antarctic option a circum pacific c i r c u m i f n pacific p a c i f i c pacific circum pacific belt okay next one fill in the blanks the core is separated from the mantle by a boundary called dash the answer is Weichert Gutenberg discontinuity. Weichert W E I C H E R T. Weichert Ivan Gutenberg G U T E N B E R G Gutenberg discontinuity. D I S C O N 
T I N U I T Y discontinuity. Second one, the earthquake waves was recorded by an instrument known as seismograph. S E I S M O G R A P H seismograph. Third one, magma rises to the surface and spreads over a vast area is known as fisher eruption f i s s u r e fisher eruption e r u p t i o n eruption fisher eruption fourth one fourth one an example for active volcano is saint helens in usa s t saint dot helens h e l e n s helens in i n u s a fifth one seismology is the study of earthquake e a r t h earthquake q u a k e earthquake third roman letter circle the odd one first one crest magma core mantle the odd one is magma crest mantle and core are the three layers of the interior of the earth so magma is a odd one second one focus epicenter vent seismic waves the vent is a odd one you have to circle vent okay third one uttarkashi chamoli koina krakatoa krakatoa is an odd one circle krakatoa fourth one lava caldera silica crater silica okay silica is an odd one fifth one stromboli helens hawaii fujiyama fujiyama is an odd one circle fujiyama okay dears next match the following first one earthquake earthquake is an sudden movement earthquake sudden movement second one sima sima means silica and magnesium silica and magnesium third one pacific ring of fire pacific ring of fire world volcanoes pacific ring of fire world volcanoes fourth one tsunami it it comes from a japanese term it comes from a japanese term tsunami japanese term fifth one mount kenya it is in africa mount kenya africa earthquake sudden movement sima silica and magnesium pacific ring of fire world volcanoes tsunami japanese term mount kenya africa next fifth roman letter consider the following statement and tick the appropriate answer first one accession the structure of the earth may be compared to that of an apple reason the interior of the earth consists of crust mantle and core so the answer is a accession and reason are correct and reason explains accession okay option a is a right one next second one accession the pacific ocean includes 2/3 of the world's volcanoes reason 
the boundary along the eastern and western coast areas of the pacific ocean is known as pacific ring of fire so the answer is a assertion and reason are correct and reason explains assertion okay dears let's see sixth roman letter answer in word answer in a word first one name the outermost layer of the earth the answer is the crust you have to write like the crust is the outermost layer of the earth okay the crust is the outermost layer of the earth is the answer second one you have to write these things in your class work note okay dears what is cr page number 151 here the upper part of the earth crust is cr sixth roman letter second question page number 151 next one third roman letter name the movement of the earth's lithospheric plates page number 146 name the movement the movement of the earth's lithospheric plates is termed as tectonic movements okay from the two tectonic movements is the sixth roman letter third question page number 146 fourth one give an example of extinct volcano give an example of extinct volcano page number 150 page number 150 here here is the answer mount mount popa of myanmar and mount kilimanjaro and mount kenya of africa are the examples of extinct volcanoes sixth roman letter fourth question from here to here okay these three lines are the sixth roman letter fourth question page number 150 okay dears seventh roman letter answer the following briefly first one what is mantle take page number 146 page number 146 7th roman letter first question so here is the answer the first three lines the layer you don't need to write the next okay next eludha vena the layer beneath the crust is called the mantle it is separated from the crust by a boundary called mohorovisic discontinuity okay this is the 7th roman letter first question page number 146 next one write a note on the core of the earth write note on the core of the earth page number 146 page number 146 so the answer is here first point the in, the innermost layer of the earth is called core first point second point the outer core which is rich in iron is in liquid state 
it is a second point and third point the inner core composed of nickel and ferrous knife is solid in state okay these three points are seventh roman letter second one page number 146 okay this one this one this one this one and this point is the seventh roman letter second question page number 146 next one define earthquake third question define earthquake page number 147 here is the answer a sudden movement of a portion of a earth's crust which produces a shaking or trembling is known as an earthquake seventh roman letter third question page number 147 page number 147 these three lines next one what is seismograph what is seismograph take page number 147 the same page seismograph the earthquake waves are recorded by an instrument known as seismograph known as seismograph this one is seventh roman letter fourth question these two lines okay next one what is a volcano what is volcano take page number 148 148 here volcanoes A volcano is a vent or an opening in the earth's crust through which hot magma erupts from deep below the surface. The opening is usually circular in form. Okay? These six lines is your 7th Roman letter 5th question. What is volcano? A volcano is a vent or an opening in the earth's crust through which hot magma erupts from deep below the surface. The opening is usually circular in form. Okay, dears. Next one. Sixth. Name the three types of volcanoes based on periodicity of eruption. Take page number one forty nine. What are the three types of volcanoes? Page number one forty nine. Here is the answer. You have to write from here to here. Volcanoes are classified according to their periodicity of eruptions and the state of activity, such as first one, active volcano. second type dormant volcano third type extinct volcano these three are the three types of volcanoes okay seventh roman letter sixth question it is page number 149 next one eighth roman letter give reason give reason first one No one has been able to take samples from the interior of the earth. No one has been able to take samples from the interior of the earth. Take page number one forty six. The answer is take page number one forty six. Here is the answer. Eighth Roman letter, first question. here is a first point okay first two lines is the first point the innermost layer of the earth is called the core 
सेकेंड पॉइंट द सेंट्रल कोर हैज वेरी हाई टेम्परेचर एंड प्रेशर दिस वन इज अ सेकेंड पॉइंट सेकेंड लाइन एंड थर्ड लाइन इज अ सेकेंड पॉइंट सो दे यू हैव टू राइट द क्वेश्चन सो नो वन हैज बीन एबल टू टेक सैंपल्स फ्रॉम द इंटीरियर ऑफ द अर्थ ओके पेज नंबर वन फोर्टी सिक्स द आंसर इज हियर first point first to two line is the first point and the second point second line and third line when you completed the third line you have to write so and the question so the no one has been able to take samples from the interior of the earth okay dears next one the continental crust is less dense than the oceanic crust take page number 145 Page number one forty-five. It is in the fourth line. Despite greater thickness, the continental crust is less dense than the oceanic crust because it is made of both light and dense rock types. Okay, eighth Roman letter, second question, answer. Page number one forty five. Okay, dears. Next one. Distinguish between. Distinguish between. First one. When they ask a question like distinguish between, you have to put a box. Then you have to divide it. You have to put a box and divide it into. two parts okay first part and second part like this you have to write distinguish between cr and sima so cr sima page number 145 146 here is the answer ninth roman letter first question the upper part under cr okay cr cr first point the upper part first point the upper part second point consists of granite rocks and forms the continent second point third point it has a main mineral constituents of silica and alumina three points okay dears first point and second point third point okay you have to write these things in same box next one sima topic is sima take page number 146 first point